What's going on, everybody? So, was at the J&J All-Star Show in Louisville, Kentucky today. Did some dealer setup. Did really well selling today. Uh, a lot of people talking about how the National had a lot of overpriced stuff up there. And it looks like a lot more people wanted to buy today. So, some of the highlights I sold was that Gretzky Auto PSA 1010. Um, you guys remember that one? It came back. Pretty big card. And then a Connor McDavid. Uh, I think it was a Synergy... And it was an insert out of 10 that I had to PSA 1010. Those were probably the biggest cards that sold, but a lot of other smaller stuff, of course, was selling. Did a couple trades. Uh, we'll talk about those. First up was a um, Spectra Anthony Richardson rookie auto I had. It was probably valued around 350, 400, I think 400 ish. So I picked this up in a deal. Um, I know it's Zion, I know it's draft picks. It's a snakeskin pop four. The insert versions do 250 as a PSA 10, so I'm guessing the true rookie is probably around uh, 350, 400 ish, uh, uh, probably for price. There we go, get it out. So that pretty much covered. He threw in all this extra stuff um, just to cover up some of the costs. So there's a Caitlin, Cl Caitlin, Caitlin Clark. There we go. Oh my gosh, shows I talk too much today. Crunch time. I happen to notice now it's off-centered, so I'll just throw that to Com C, get a couple dollars for it. The red variation. Jackson Holiday Precious Metal Gems Blue out of 50. Jackson Holiday Mr. Grand Slam. Uh, first Bowman Blue. I think this was out of 150. Yep, out of 150. Look pretty good, so we'll see what happens. The PMG, I'm not expecting a great high. And Anthony Edwards, purple rookie from Hoops. Uh, I think I had a little bit of whiting down here, but I figured what the heck. I'll grade it because really I'm not in it for much. I mean, really, uh, really he hooked me up. Uh, rookie of the year, Wemby tops now. I think he's did like 25 30 bucks. Just thought it was kind of cool. Everybody's still Wemby crazy. And then a Stroud winning ticket, sparkly looking thing. Uh, <laughs> I think these were like 25 30 bucks when I looked it up too. So pretty good to get, you know, when you have somebody that's willing to trade up and you get more lower stuff that you can move and deal with, it's a little bit better. Um, the Zion, I know, is going to be a tougher move, but there will be somebody out there eventually during basketball season or next contract signing. Hopefully he doesn't get injured type deal. But figure what the heck on to it. And then I got rid of a John Moran auto I had. Picked up the Wemby Prism Fast Break Variation. PSA 10 does 600. And then he threw this in just uh, make, you know, like 40 bucks on something. It's a Montana Rookie uh, SGC3. So those were my pickups of the show. Uh, nothing real crazy. Uh, you guys will see a Com C video be coming out soon this week. I got to get done. Um, trying to get back to a regular rhythm now that that house is finally sold. Uh, closed, all that fun stuff. Got a lot of PSA out. Mm, trying to think here. Been one of them crazy days already. But yeah, I want to say well, there was a really, really good show. At first, there wasn't a whole lot of traffic. Then it picked up immensely in there. I would probably guess about 250 300 out of the 50 cent boxes were sold. So those are still very, very popular by demand. Um, really good stuff though overall. I was hoping the one young kid with his mother would have going to come back through today. I found some Shaq rookies for him. I wanted to give him as I was sorting stuff. Uh, for some reason he he loves Shaq, so figure what echo come up. So I'll have those for next show in case he comes back around with his mom. They might be on vacation or something. I'm trying to think here. Uh, a lot of stuff still. Everybody kaboom downtown. So, uh, talking about the first off the line optic craziness that went on with the downtown. So if you guys haven't heard, I'm sure there's a ton of videos out on it by now. <sighs> talking about how hard it is to hit Connor Bedard autos out of upper deck. Um, between three of us hockey people, we've seen about 10 cases. And talk about the full master cases broken, not one Bedard auto. Where they all go? Canada? I mean, I, I have no idea. It's strange. Just trying to think what else there was. That's pretty much about it. But overall, really, really strong show. People wanted to buy if you were priced reasonable out there. You know, I understand if the last comp was 83 and you had an 85 type deal, stuff like that. But 
long as you weren't stupid and you were able to show stuff, you know, where you found it, still got to explain to people, you know, therapy uh, shows actual sold and paid for versus 130 and card ladders showing, you know, stuff that is not been paid for. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, really, really good show. I might end up going to Salem next week as a buyer, so it'll be a different little type of video out for that. I just I didn't get to walk the show floor much, except for looking at one section of hockey that was across from me. The last time they were set up to my right, so it was a little bit easier. But that is it, everybody. Appreciate it as always. I will talk to you all next video.